fun part was, of course, watching it come down the street with the headlight and um, the uh, noise and the movement of the car coming towards, towards the car stop. The doors would come open and it was always kind of a rush to pile on because they were always in a hurry. You put your money in the fare box, the operator would flip the switch and he had to hand crank it. Only the streamlining cars had the electric fare boxes. Some of the early cars didn't even have any heat and they just provided straw for people to kind of keep their feet warm. You'd sit down on this wood seat and you'd hear the brakes release and the gears would start growling and the thing would perceptibly change sounds as it picked up speed. It was the romance of different cars and different colors and, and, and sparks at night and the noise and the clunk and the air compressor. They grind and they creak and they groan and I, I don't know really why I liked them, just I did. I enjoyed it. I never got that thrill out of riding a bus, I'll tell you that. <laughs> By the 1920s, electric railways had grown to become America's fifth largest industry, with some $6 billion worth of cars and equipment. 105,000 trolley cars roamed the country's 47,000 miles of track. At the height of the trolley's popularity, the traction industry employed some 300,000 workers, in some cases 10% of the total workforce. With over 83,000 streetcars and passenger service alone, many a fortune was made and lost on the nickel fares of America's 15 billion trolley riders. There was a lot of speculation and a, and a lot of investors, and uh, uh, there were syndicates that were put together to build uh, interurban and streetcar systems. And just like the railroads, you had the big streetcar tycoons also uh, who were putting together these systems in the individual cities. They were prominent. Every city of any consequence, any town of any consequence, had at least one streetcar line. One thing is it made downtowns possible. It made department stores possible because now it was possible to bring enough people to one location where you could have a large business. They essentially replaced the horse and buggy in the urban areas. The Illinois Railway Museum was established when one of the largest Midwestern interurban lines was abandoned in 1941. In the years since, they too have acquired an impressive collection of historic trolleys. You have something absolutely massive in your hands that you are controlling. You are the one that is making it go. You are the person who's making it go faster. You're the one that's causing the, the air compressor to go on and to go off. You're the one to ring the bell. Really, you'll laugh about, I'm the one uh, who gets to uh, catch hell and also ring the bell. Well, I do get to ring the bell and blow the whistle, and that's an excitement to me. Slowly, now I'm gonna go out slowly, and then we, after we get going, then I have to shut off and I have to test the brakes. So we'll make a five or 10 pound brake reduction. You can feel that. On the main line. We'll do a little coasting as we go through the switches. We want to coast through here to keep the everything loose, not from the that the wheels and the motors and the gears aren't all bound up. Now we're coming out on the main line. Is not, this particular car has what we call automatic acceleration. If I were to accelerate fully, I might overspeed the motors and I'll, I'll set the trippers to shut the power on the line off. So we, we don't accelerate quickly here. You can hear the change in the motors. Did you hear that sound variation? Now you feel how fast we're going? This is a peppy car there. A speed restriction, even though I got a green light up here, I have a speed restriction because we're crossing a, a public uh, a public grade crossing here.
reason why many employees never wanted to retire. Why, why would you want to give up this much fun, even though you did it for 40 years? What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop on the other side of the road, then I'll let you take over. Okay, your turn. Volunteers at the Illinois Railway Museum are eager to pass on their knowledge to a new generation, who will in their time take over the work of preserving a part of America's past. If you leave it on two or more, it'll automatically keep accelerating full speed. Okay, now go to three. There you go. Hold it there for a minute.